Justice Muhammad Hidayatullah was 11th Chief Justice of India and 6th Vice President of India. Justice Hidayatullah was born on 17th December 1905 and died on 18th September 1992. He was the 11th Chief Justice of India serving from 25th February 1968 to 16th December 1970 and the 6th Vice President of India serving from 31st August 1979 to 30th August 1984. He had also served as the Acting President of India from 20th July 1969 to 24th of August 1969 and from 6th October 1982 to 31st October 1982. He is regarded as an eminent jurist, scholar, educationist, author, and linguist. His brother Muhammad Ikramullah was a prominent Pakistani diplomat whose wife Shesta Suharawardi Ikramullah was a niece of Hussein Sahid Suharawardi, sometime Prime Minister of Undivided Pakistan, and herself a member of the first Pakistani Constituent Assembly. Hidayatullah was born in 1905 in the well-known family of Khan Bahadur Hafiz Muhammad Wulaitullah, an upper-class family. His grandfather, Munsi Kudratullah, was advocate in Varanasi. His father was a poet of All India repute who wrote poems in Urdu and probably it must have been from him that Justice Hidayatullah got his love for language and literature. Wulaitullah was gold medalist of Aligarh Muslim University in 1897 besting famous mathematician Sir Jauddin Ahmad, a favorite of Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan. He served till 1928 in ICS and from 1929 to 1933 as member of Central Legislative Assembly. Hidayatullah's elder brother Muhammad Ikramullah was ICS and for later Foreign Secretary of Pakistan and Ahmadullah, ICS, retired as Chairman Tariff Board was scholars as well as sportsmen. He, on the other hand, excelled in Urdu poetry. After completing primary education at Government High School of Raipur in 1922, Hidayatullah attended Morris College in Nagpur, where he was nominated as the Phillips Scholar in 1926. When he graduated in 1926, he was awarded the Malak Gold Medal. Following the trend of Indian Studying British law abroad, Hidayatullah attended Trinity College at the University of Cambridge from 1927 to 1930 and obtained BA and MA degrees from there. Here he secured the second order of merit and was awarded a gold medal for his performance in 1930. He was called to the bar from Lincoln's Inn when he was just 25 years old. He was awarded LLD honorary casa from University of the Philippines and D.L.I.T. on Rajikaja from University of Bhopal, now Barkatullah University and University of Kakataya. While at Cambridge, Hidayatullah was elected and served as the President of the Indian Majlis in 1929. Also while here, he pursued English and law typos from the renowned Lincoln's Inn. In addition, he secured a place of barrister at law in 1930. After graduation, Hidayatullah returned to India and enrolled as an advocate of the High Court of Central Provinces in Brar at Nagpur on 19th July 1930. He also taught jurisprudence and Mohammedan law in the University College of Law at Nagpur and was also the extension lecturer in English literature. On 12th December 1942, he was appointed government pleader in the High Court of Nagpur, High Court at Nagpur. On 2nd August 1943, he became the Advocate General of Central Provinces in Berar, now Madhya Pradesh, and continued to hold the said post till he was appointed as an additional judge of that High Court in 1946. He had the distinction of being the youngest Advocate General of the Indian state Madhya Pradesh. On 24th June 1946, Hidayatullah was appointed as additional judge of the High Court of Central Provinces in Brar and on 13th September 1946, he was appointed as permanent judge of the said High Court where he served until being elevated 
to Chief Justice of the Nagpur High Court in 1954. On 3rd December 1954, being the youngest Chief Justice of a High Court, in, 19, in November 1956, he was then appointed as the Chief Justice of Madhya Pradesh High Court. On 1st December 1958, he was elevated as Justice of the Supreme Court of India. In his time, he was the youngest judge of the Supreme Court of India. After serving as a judge for nearly 10 years, he was appointed as the Chief Justice of India on 28th February 1968. Becoming the first Muslim Chief Justice of India, he retired from his posi this position on 16th December 1970. During his term as the Chief Justice of India, the then President of India, Jake Hussain, died suddenly in harness on 3rd May 1969. Then Vice President of India, Mr. V. V. Giri, became the Acting President. Later, Giri resigned from both offices as Acting President and Vice President to become a candidate in the 1969 presidential election. Hidayatullah then served as the President of India for a short period from 20th July to 24th August. The visit of President of the United States Richard Nixon to India made his presidential term historic. After his retirement, Hidayatullah was elected as the Vice President of India by a consensus among different parties and occupied that high office with distinction from 1979 to August 1984. During his tenure as the Vice President, he won the respect of all concerned for his impartiality and independence. In 1982, when the then President Jail Singh went to the U.S. for medical treatment, Vice President Hidayatullah officiated as President from 6th October 1982 to 31st October 1982. Thus, he officiated as Acting President twice. Having served at all of these positions made Hidayatullah unique among other members of Indian history, he became the only person to have served as served in all three offices of Chief Justice of India, President of India and Vice President of India. During his long tenure in the Supreme Court, he was a party to a number of landmark judgments, including the judgment of Golaknath vs. State of Punjab, which took the view that the Parliament had no power to cut down the fundamental rights by constitutional amendment. His judgment in the case of Ranjit D. Udesi, dealing with the law of obscenity displayed a player for literature which is not so common among our judges.